Welcome to the Startup Grind. And the, for those that don't know, you let you you leave EA in 1993. It was 94, actually. 94, excuse me. Uh, you're pretty good with dates. Um, uh, so you leave in '94. You're kind of chairman of both these companies. You, you're starting this. You're starting 3DO, and then you eventually you eventually leave EA, and and focus solely on 3DO. And um, I, I wonder. So I, I wonder if we could just talk a little bit about EA for a second, and then and then we can keep moving. I really want to talk about uh, what you're working on today. But you know, when I was at EA, I, I left EA. I quit EA about four and a half years ago, to be precise. And uh, it was about 10 years, 11 years after you had left. And EA was my first job. EA was my app. It was the same experience. I went there to learn, to make mistakes, so I could then go start my company. And, um, you know, I, nobody worked harder at EA than I did. No one loved EA harder, more than I did. But what I started to learn uh, as I got there, what my perception was, was that, uh, that EA without a founder at the helm or someone like a visionary at the helm uh, it was almost like it was missing its soul. Uh, this is my perception. And, um, and as I have looked back on that experience, which I loved, and, and, and you know, my life has been greatly affected by your work, which you, know, you didn't ever know about until tonight. But EA has played a huge uh, role in my career, whatever failures I end up having. Um, but you know, I've always wondered if you know, them you know, bringing you back or not to run the company, but even as an advisor to say, hey, look, these were our roots. This is what it was all about. Is that something that you've ever been asked to do? Is that something that you would do if asked to do? Um, because if it, it always felt like to me that it was missing what that energy and that, you know, that vision that you had in 1982. It got lost by the time 2005 rolled around. And, and if it had that, the people, the team was smart. The team was great. But it didn't have that that kind of uh, leadership. So I wonder if you could, if you could tell us, have, have, you, have you ever been asked to do that? Would you do that if somebody asked you to do it? Is there any interest? That, like, you're like, hey, I, I got bigger problems than that. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, wh what are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, I have a full time job. That's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd be happy to advise them. Uh, I have not been asked, and I, you know, I, I think. Uh, Basically, you know, they moved on, I moved on. Sure. And uh, I think there must be something somehow that feels kind of threatening uh, to them about, uh, about uh, ha you know, have, having me uh, come back in some fashion, even, you know, for a visit, although I, ha I have, in fact, visited there. But, uh, you know, I, I think th this is just one of the things that you, you have to have is uh, the, some kind of yin-yang balance in leadership between what you would call the suits and the ponytails. And uh, I was always a ponytail. We're the ponytail guys. Yeah. Yeah, you got to work on yours. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hat with a ponytail <laughs> on it. So uh, I was always kind of a ponytail that could understand all the operational stuff. <clears throat> um, but uh, yeah, there, there was good balance when I, when I was there. And when, once I came out of that equation, you could just tell that the balance kind of shifted to more of the uh, you know operating mindset, and they were good at running the factory and cranking out the stuff that was already understood in the business model that, that had already been established. Yeah, um, you know, and look, uh, the industry's gone through a whole lot of changes and pivots. I you know I can't tell you that if I'd stayed there, I wouldn't have screwed it up myself. You know, I uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, make any assumptions that I would have done any better than anybody else because. It's been a really tricky, complicated industry. I mean, just even in the last five years, especially, I think it's everything's been changed all over again. More dynamic, with more pivots being required. It's just crazy. 